Well, hello there. I don't actually know where that comes from. I think it's a movie. I don't know. Anyway, so some bad news. Not bad news necessarily. But so I thought I had next week to do the Rainhill Trials seeding workout. So for those of you that don't know, so Rainhill Trials works via ballot. So you fill, you sign up, pay, and then hopefully you get it. Like it's kind of like a, well, you, it's like a lucky draw almost. You should get it. And then what they do then is you do seeding workouts. So they like certain strength and fitness and gymnastics workouts. You then do put in your score and that will put you in one of four categories. I can't remember the four categories, but essentially it's RX, scaled, scaled even more and complete beginner. Okay, so uh, and then on the day you compete in these categories, uh, nothing needs to be filmed. Uh, so they don't actually look at the fil at, at videos or any, they don't look at the, the proof, I guess. But on the day, if you, you know, if you clearly cheated on your scores, so let's say, for example, you win all the events by a mile, let's say you're in the beginner class and you win all the events by a mile and you can do, you know, all the difficult movements, then they move you up or down as they need to. Anyway, so, so it's really fairly done. Uh, I like the way they do it. Um, but essentially what that means is I have to do seating workouts. Now I thought I could do this next week. Um, but I can't, I have to do it this week. I've got until Sunday and it is now Wednesday. So I'll probably do some of it today and then maybe, I don't know, tomorrow or Friday, maybe Saturday, maybe even Sunday. <laughs> um, but I don't know, it's quite a lot is like minute max muscle ups, max chest to bar, max uh, toes to bar, like uh, one RM deadlift snatch, three RM hang snatch, uh, two actual workouts so there's quite a lot to do which is a problem because I'm really tired and I just wanted to focus on the weightlifting a little bit uh, but anyway that is what it is I'm sure you're probably wondering why I'm constantly wearing this top uh, I don't know it's just really comfortable it's really soft inside and that's why anyway right so I'm going to do some overhead squats to start and then I'll probably do the no, the block snatches, snatches from the blocks. Yeah. Something like that. We'll see. Right. Let's get to it.
body. Yes. Woo. Fuck. Whee. Right, so <laughs> it's Friday. I didn't train yesterday. My body was absolutely battered. Uh, and uh, my recovery was very low. Didn't sleep very well on Wednesday night. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. And I figured I'll take the rest day and probably train tomorrow. So train sun to Saturday. Uh, I want to do some more deadlifts. So I'll probably do some deadlifts on Saturday. And I'm going to have to do both of the seating workouts today. Now, pretty much. So the first one's going to be three rounds, four time. Row 300 meters, 20 roll balls, and 15 box jumps. It says here, step ups are permitted. And I don't think there's any, because step ups are slower, I don't think there's any penalty for doing step ups. So to be honest, I'm probably gonna be doing step ups. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more fatiguing maybe, but I'll be able to maintain breath and be able to maybe maintain a steady pace. Uh, my goal would be to do the 20 wall balls unbroken all the time. Uh, be fairly, not too fast on the road to be honest. I mean, if you think about, let's say a 500 meter pace, you row 140, right? Over 300 meters. And then on a 300 meter pace, you row 130. You only win 10 seconds over 500 meters. So you maybe win seven seconds, but you're so much more fatigued on that. Uh, so it's not worth when it's distance, especially this short distance, it's not worth absolutely smashing yourself in my opinion. It's not that long, so it's not gonna mess you up, but I'd rather be able to just stand up and go straight into the wall balls and do 20 unbroken every time. And just on the box step ups, just keep a steady pace. I might do the last round, depending on how I feel, just start jumping, um, but I'd rather keep a steady pace throughout. And then the second workout is going to be this one sucks in a seven minute window so it's a seven minute amrap complete as many reps as possible of bar over burpees but every minute on the minute complete five hang snatches i don't think these are power snatches as far as i'm aware um hang snatch the movement begins in the hang position higher low hang is permitted the barbell must be received in the overhead position the barbell must come to the full lockout overhead with the hips knees and arms fully extended when beginning the repetition from the floor the athlete must fully extend before returning to the hang position muscle power and full hang are permitted so i'll probably do muscle there because it's easier uh it's a very light weight so i'll just be doing the bird the, the snatches isn't a problem uh and my goal would be to just keep ticking with the with the burpee so not absolutely smash myself from the start rather keep moving and never stop moving as soon as i'm done with the burp or at the minute pick up the bar immediately go straight in that's going to be the goal See how it goes. I'm not as fit as I used to be, so it probably will be harder than I feel like it would be, if you know, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense. Right, so wall ball one first. I'll take a good break in between. I've got everything set up. I'm sat on the ball, the box. The wall ball is back there, and the rower is back there as well. So I'm going to just move the camera a little bit, and then get to it. I got 821 on that one. I'm very happy with that, to be honest. I was able to continu continuously move. Pacing on the rower wasn't crazy. I was all holding maybe 150, 155 average, probably somewhere around there. So pretty slow, but I'm happy that I was able to keep, literally just keep moving the whole time. As soon as you break wall balls or any movement like that, thrusters, etc., and you drop the wall ball, it's so hard to pick it back up. 
it's so hard to pick it back up in 10 seconds and if you push yourself a little bit too hard in the row you would it would be difficult it's a it's a quad pump workout this i definitely don't think i would have been able to to keep up that pace if i was doing box jumps specifically uh the box step ups really made it fairly easy to just know i could keep going like it hurt and they were uh, pretty much every second after the first round i wanted to stop but um i knew that i would be able to maintain that pace if you know what i mean so yeah i think that worked really really well i'm very happy with 821 it's probably not no, it's definitely not even close to the fastest time i reckon some people will probably get this in under six maybe even under five minutes um because it is it is, it is a quick workout it's not a lot of reps um it's short distance on the rower but uh, i'm happy with that uh considering my level of fitness i'm very happy with that right so I'm gonna set up for the snatchy, snatchy, by a burpee and snatch one now. Uh, seven minutes, every minute, starting on the snatches, every minute on the minute, do five snatches, max burpee over the bar in the remaining time. Uh, has to be a double faded, double foot, a two footed takeoff, double footed takeoff uh, on the jump, and orientation doesn't matter. So, yeah, the jump's gonna be bad for me. Um, with my toes and you know i've not really been jumping a lot but that's okay it'll be fine it's just gonna burn the feet and the calves a little bit more uh but yeah i've got a massive quad pump now so <laughs> i'm gonna wait for that to go down and then i'm gonna do this burpee workout and i'll show you that so see you in a sec Well, I'm done. Uh, got 101 on that one. That was way, way more sucky than I anticipated, to be honest. Uh, I knew it was going to suck, but not that much. <clears throat> I had about maybe like eight minutes rest between the two. So maybe I should have rested longer, I guess, potentially. But, hey ho. Uh, I'm happy with my scores. I don't think, to be honest, I could have done that a lot better. Maybe like a little bit. <laughs> Maybe like a 